Welcome to episode 25 of Pokemon Scarlet. Last time we left off, I just finished the rematch with Gracias and Rhyme. This time, if you couldn't tell by the episode title, we're going to be having our rematch with Larry and our rematch with Grusha. Hopefully... This doesn't turn into a turn into a into something completely and utterly ridiculous. It's time for a meeting with the boss, but seems I've got a visitor with no appointment instead. This is absolutely something she'd do. No no, I understand everything. I assure you. I look forward to our battle then. Oh, of course, it's no problem. La Primera is my boss. So I have to do as she says, but now she's ordering students around? I see. So you're helping the boss free, him, free up some time to enter a tournament at the academy. Well, whatever... Float your boat, I suppose. I'd never let myself get roped in like that. Well, let's knock this task off our list then. No use wasting time, shall we? Sure. Let's head to the treasure eatery then. You already faced me during the elite test, so I doubt this will leave much of an impression on you. In any case, let's get started, shall we? I'll be facing you in my role as gym leader, so I'm going to use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal, as in plain, average, unremarkable, run-of-the-mill. I'm pretty fond of them, you know? They suit me perfectly. I'm about as ordinary as you can get. People, Pokemon, there's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want a shock factor. Something weird, something bizarre. At the end of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home, even after a fun vacation. When all said and done, simplicity is strongest. You are challenged by Gym Leader Larry. Sent out a pig. Oh, that's a glitch. The boss takes some getting used to, you know. You got your work cut out for you. Yeah, no, this is Drake's debut battle. So he gets to have a little fun. Is about to send in Braviar. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yeah. Much as I love, much as I love having Drake continue his continue his run. I gotta let Le I gotta let Lead have some fun. And yes, that was an unintentional rhyme. But <laughs> time last episode. I'm sorry, I'm in a good mood. I don't know why. That's pretty good against Lead, but. My good buddy here is, is has a few levels on you. And it's pretty bulky. Send in Dadun Sparse. Yes, I'm going to switch. 
back out into Drake. Because the Dunsparce is kind of a terrible Dunsparce evolution. It kind of keeps its original. The Aura Sphere. Dang, there goes Drake. Maybe I should have brought Osra instead. Eh, he can't have fun all the time. Besides, some of my mons need some time. Other mons need time in the sun. But if I want to give it to him, I need to get grinding some of my, some of my other lower level teammates up. Don't get me wrong, they're pretty great, but with how much of a power, how much power creep is going on? They're gonna need some grind time. gym for him. Yet, he doesn't show up on Larry's team. A third serving of defeat, huh? You're a bit too much for an average Joe like me to handle. But, I think I understand now. I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four, I mean. There's scenery you'll never notice if you stick to flat, well-trodden paths. It'll do me good to admire talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. She won't be catch me doing it for fun, though. In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours, so I'll call it a day. Man works three jobs, two of which are very, very paperwork heavy. Now, four of... all of them are paperwork heavy. It's just being a member of the Elite Four and being a gym leader both have a lot of responsibility. Like, a lot, a lot of responsibility. Because he's the protector of this town from 
Pokemon and all, from wild Pokemon. He's this town's protector should things get too tough. But he's also a member of the Elite Four, so he's also a part of the face of the region. Any way you look at it, Larry has way, way too much overtime. Has way, has too many high stress jobs. No wonder he's going gray. Well, might as well I can always get more of you. Besides, I want to give Drake and Blade some more time in the sun with this next battle. With this next rematch. But, again, Katie, Katie, Rhyme, and Larry don't like Gita. Katie, because she's expected to be the weakling gym leader and isn't allowed to push herself as much as she wants to due to her position. Larry, because he's overworked and working three jobs. And Rhyme, because she's not respected. Huh? I recognize you. You here at the slopes? I don't recall the snow being too good today. I'm here for a battle. Aw, oh, for real? I've got something important to be dealing with in a bit, you know? Oh, I see. You're here to cover for Gita. So, your dream came true. You're champion right now. You must be so happy. Oh... My bad, that sounded a lot more sarcastic than I'd intended. Don't get me wrong, I think I really think it's amazing, just it's complicated for me, that's all. Anyway, you, you came here to test my skills, right? Let's just get this over with. Let's head outside, you best hope it's not snowing. Why not? It'll make your team stronger. The weather's in your favor today. I guess the Snowy Mountains decided to be kind. These league-mandated inspections happen a few times a year. If we don't show up for the job, we'll lose our positions as gym leaders. I get the need for the inspections, but... Usually, when something like that happens in workplaces, it's only one time a year, and maybe an emergency one if it's necessary, but otherwise, it's usually just one a year, these type of inspections. Gita always says it's just a formality, but I've already given up on being a pro snowboarder if she takes away the talents I still have to show will be left. Sorry, didn't mean to bring the temperature down. It's simple enough, really. All I need to do is make sure the power of my Pokemon shields you to the bone. You are challenged by Gym Leader Grusha. 
but that really doesn't sound right. Usually it's just, it'd be just one inspection a year. It kind of gives me a bit of concern, if I'm being honest. Conditions are all... Conditions are all right, I guess. Good enough to defeat you, anyway. Yeah, no. That's just kind of concerning if she's having these inspections... One, maybe two inspections a year. But... It seems like, to me, she's making sure her gym leaders are always, are always the strongest they can be. What's she worried about? Considering she wants her gym leaders to be as strong as they can and to fit the mold they're supposed to be in. Which... Doesn't always work. You can't always shove people in a mold and expect them to fit. Ah. That's an issue. Maybe I should give you a focus band, though I doubt I'm going to use you for any more battles from this playthrough. Save maybe for when the DLC comes out. fact that she could take away his take away his position as gym leader. He's already lost so much. If she takes away that too, he doesn't have anything left. So, Gita makes Rusha nervous. Rhyme, Larry. And Katie don't really like her too much. Do Rhyme because she feel like, feels like Gita disrespected her. Larry because he's over, man is overworked. And Katie, because she's forced, she's the first gym next to the academy, meaning she's forced into being the first gym leader a lot of the time due to the closeness to the academy and due to the, to the and more than likely due to the easiness of the route. I won't let things heat up any further. Time to bring the deep freeze. Gra Brassus doesn't care. Brassus really doesn't care. He's strong, yes, but he cares more about his art than he does for the gym. Than he does for his position as gym leader. Let it freeze, let it snow, let it pile up on top of us. So, so far, the gym leaders don't like Gita. A lot of the gym leaders don't like Gita that much. He's 
what I'm getting from this so far. I think you're getting a little hot headed. Let me show you. Let me cool you down with this move. Gym leaders don't like or fear Gita. Your burning passion. I kind of like it, to be honest. Man, Gita must be re really have it out for me, sending someone there's no way I could beat. Someone there's no way I could beat. Still, no regrets on my part. I gave it everything I had. I hit you with full force, and I lost anyway. It made me feel frustrated. It makes me want to become stronger as a gym leader, put more of myself into it. I thought I'd... I thought I had my passion for it and over. But you rekindled me, kindled it for me. Thanks, Tetsu. I won't lose next time. You'll see. Try not to catch a cold on your way down the mountain, eh? Okay. Let's go over a checklist real quick before I end the episode. Katie is upset that she's being forced into a box of being the weak starter gym leader and can't put forth all and can't put forth her all for a lot of her battles because of where her position in the region is. Brassus doesn't care. He doesn't he doesn't care about being gym leader. It just helps him gather more inspiration for his art. So he really doesn't care about being gym leader. He just uses it to further his own ends. Which makes him sound kind of dark, but that's just kind of the way he seems to me. Larry doesn't like Gita, and he doesn't like the fact that he got pulled into being a member of the Elite Four. When he's all when he already has a full-time job, when he already has when he already had two full-time jobs on his plate. What with being the gym leader for the for the Madal for Madali City and for being an office worker. Rhyme doesn't like Gita either. Due to the fact that she feels like Gita doesn't respect her. Didn't respect her by showing up personally for the inspection. She was okay with us fighting fighting duking it out with her, but she wasn't she didn't seem really happy about it. And Grusha, the gym leader we fought just now, seems kind of afraid of Gita. Seemed kind of afraid of Gita. Like, if he didn't do well enough, she on to the fact we're getting more and more context for these as we do more of the gym fights. She hosts these inspections multiple times a year. Which, well, yeah, makes a little sense, but usually gym leaders are a lot more independent than that. Yes, they still respond to the league, but they still have some independence. So, with the gym leaders getting inspected like this, time and time and time again, multiple times a year, it, 
yes, it keeps them on their toes, but I doubt it's letting them be happy. And otherwise, though, I assume her, she's more interested in being a beautician and model, and he's pro- and Cove, who's probably going to want to retire in a few years. He's, he and Rhyme are probably are the el are the oldest gym leaders in the region followed by more than likely followed by Larry and Katie followed by more than likely followed by Brassius Larry then Katie at, with the youngest of the gym leaders being Grusha and Iono I don't know. Something about Gita just rubs me the wrong way. She just seems off. Though, I've been rambling for too long. I'm going to end the episode here. I will see you all next time. Peace.